Dear Madame Rajavi, I am delighted to be with you in this way in the Free Iran World Summit. Your steadfast struggle for freedom sets an example. This year's fast developments in Iran leave a, a lot of hope for a quick march towards democracy. I was amazed by the progress achieved by the resi resistance unit inside Iran, those brave people who know no limits in their goals aimed at breaking the atmosphere of terror and the frustration spread by the regime among the population. At the same time, the people of Iran show a lot of enthusiasm for such brave actions. We heard about major activities such as disrupting the regime's radio and television or comprising security cameras on Tehran's municipality's IT center. And an interesting one was the major cyber, cyber attack on the Ministry of Agriculture's website and database, which was a campaign in response to the suppression the oppressed farmers of Iran, especially in Isfahan. To break the wall of repression, they defaced pictures of Khamenei on the homepage of the Ministry of Agriculture. This was in response to the brutal attack by the regime's repressive forces against Isfahan farmers who, op who opened fire on the deprived farmers, blinding many of them with pellet guns. Or again, when pictures of Mr. Javi appeared on the main state TV emission for a second to fill the people with joy. The brave people who are engaged in this, risking their lives, merit our, our support. Those actions point to where to look for the real alternative to the cleric regime in power in Iran. It is true that the old policy of appease, appeasement vis-à-vis -vis the mullahs has come to an end. But this is not enough. We must be frank and serious to work with those who hold the key to the future Iran. A country that would live in peace with its neighbors and would respect the ba most basic right of its own citizens. A country that would not seek prohibit armaments to destabilize its neighbors, that would not foment terrorism under the guise of ideological teaching and would, and would not rob the Iranian people of their assets to finance illegal, illegal adventurism all, around, all over the world. In this respect, we should abandon the failed attempt to be friends with a regime this, this is determined to get the bomb. And we should try instead to establish contact with the democratic alternative represented in the NCRI. Man Madame Rajavi's 10 points plan for future Iran respects all the elements and values we respected. So I once more announce my full support for the program and for your struggle, Madame Rajavi, for a free and democratic Iran.